One particularly memorable patient for me was a woman who had uh, was out of town and had actually um, had gotten assaulted and had several lacerations to her arm and showed up randomly in my clinic one day and had a tremendous number of things wrong with her. She had gotten in basically everything in her forearm cut from her, you know, all, you know, there are three nerves in the arm and she cut two of the three nerves. She had cut in uh, one of the two major arteries in the arm and showed, just randomly dropped in a clinic. This is the kind of patient you normally would see in the emergency department as an emer emergent case and she just showed up in clinic one day. and. Um, you know, she was really memorable because not just for the surgery, it took about eight hour surgery to put her all back together and get everything working as best as could be expected. But it was really, you know, I've seen her now for almost two years. So it's been a real journey with her to, you know, it's really memorable. You know, I can picture her face and, you know, learn a lot about her, you know, through a very long treatment protocol. And, you know, and it's been unique because most of the things I do, I tend to see people for a pretty short period of time. Um, you know, as surgeons, we kind of see people for, you know, a short period of time, you fix the problem and move on, you know, move on. And with her, I've seen her now for almost two years. So it's a unique, you know, kind of unique thing to see that, you know, from unexpected shock in clinic to a long surgery to a very long recovery period. And she, you know, I always will remember her. I, have, I had one patient who was totally outside of my field of orthopedic hand surgery. It was a lady who had been struggling with hip pain for months and months and had gone around for, um, you know, for, for a long time to different hospitals. And it turned out that she just had a hip fracture that everyone, people were looking at her back and were looking at her neck and were looking at other problems. And, you know, it, you know I just happened to be lucky to be the person to say, hey, let's look at your hip. And it turned out she had a, a hip fracture and, and uh, she's a very nice lady and I love them and they love me because now their mom and grandma is, is walking. And it's not a surgery that I, you know, it's not part of my regular practice. I do hip fracture surgery when I'm on call, but it was just a, you know, I, I remember her to this day and, you know, um, every day, they, every time she comes in for a knee injection or something, I show her pictures of my kids and she shows me pictures of her grandkids and, you know, it's, it's just great. I have patients stop me all the time in the, in the grocery store or in Walmart to, to, to show me their hand or, and, you know, and, or to see, you know, ask questions. And it's, it's interesting. It's very nice that people know who you are and, you know, it's, it's nice to be in a community of that, that tight knit that they know who you are and know what you do. One memorable story I had from a patient was a, a guy who used to work in one of the glass factories in, um, in Clarksburg here. And I found out from him, he's like a total historian of the entire glass industry around Clarksburg. And he can tell you everything about glass making from the turn of the century to present. And he's got all these, you know, all these pictures and amazing negatives from all these factory stuff that have been closed down for, for decades. And just and, and to see the effect that industry had on him. So I've taken care of him for, you know, several like arthritic problems that are probably a direct result of all the very, very physical work he had to do in his job in the in the glass factories. And you know, he's just just a colorful guy with a colorful story about his work in the glass factory and a neat tie into how that affected his health and his life, you know, to this day, even though he's been retired for 20 or 30 years.